It's going to be pretty interesting this week. Kind of anxiously waiting if we're going to get a license to go to the Indian River. In his 40 years at the Klondike, Tony Beats has snatched up over 350 gold rich claims. The Indian River is amongst the most profitable. But before he can cash in, he needs a water license. We've been waiting two years for that right now. So we're just kind of fingers crossed, hoping that that comes through. Sounds like the chances are pretty good, but then you never know. Anyway, at least Mike is going. The Nugget Cut is producing, making some money. Tony's only working wash plant is at the Nugget Cut on Paradise Hill. A lot of dirt to be moved. The final decision on Indian River is due in four days. The piggy bank is in the river. So I don't say every day counts, but in reality, really, it does. To get a step ahead, Tony's moving his monster machines to the Indian. First up, the $1.1 million 950 excavator, the biggest in the Yukon. If we're going to move that 950, we can't put it on a regular low boy for 100 ton. So that's why I bought this thing. Now I think it's time to try it out. See if this thing starts up. How do you start it? At $100,000, the rear steer Columbia low boy is a gamble due to its age. This low boy, this old, is built 1965. I happened to see this trailer on the auction sale, and I decided that for us moving stuff back and forth to the Indian River, we needed a bigger low boy. The 950 excavator weighs 100 tons and is too wide for a standard low boy. If we can load up the 950 on this and bring it down to the Indian River without having to take it apart, that'd be bonus. Because, you know, by the time we take off the counterweight, take off the bucket, boom, stick, and load her back up, that's a lot of commotion. It would be so nice if we can just drive her on, highball her down the road, drive her off, and go to work. It turns three-day operation into a one-day one. Yeah. It's time put the aging Columbia to the test with the 100 ton 950. Mike, swing, watch your ass in. Yeah, keep it going. Yeah, you'll be clear. I would put a teeth in the ground, Mike, so you don't slide off. Okay, try it, Michael. Lift it up, off you go. Okay, let it down. Keep it going. Keep it going. Good, hold it right there. Put the bucket up front there. Good, you can put it down anyway, Mike. Just put it down like that. Done! That's close enough. Okay, gentlemen, you're up front, the other one in the back. Off you go. Oh, she's a heavy pull. Take a nice and steady, Mike, huh? Better to drop that thing a couple of gears, and you gotta take the corner here, bro. Oh, yeah, okay. See the wheels turn there? Yeah, yeah. See how? Cool that goes. See how tight that turns. I mean, when I'm back wheel steering, it makes a hell of a difference, you know. Right? They also create a hell of a lot of drag. So far, I'm kind of impressed the way it goes. It was built in 1965. Everything works. I mean, it's amazing. Do you copy? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Hey, you want to come to the office? We need to call the water board. OK, we can do that. After two years waiting for his license, it's the moment of truth. OK, you guys stay outside for a while.
Okay, come in. So, no license. This season is pretty well down the tube down there. What did they say? Rewrite a whole bunch of <laughs> then submit it. Lord. No, that's no good, right? Because that know. thing, that with everything. By the time they rewrite, redo, redo, bingo. Three, four months has gone by. It's removing all that equipment as well. But it's not what was in the plan. No. I mean, it's going to make a of a difference on the ounces that we're going to get out of the ground this year. Well. Because that is millions and millions and millions of I know. It sucks. There's a whole season of sluice and they're yeah. sitting there stripped, done. I know. Well, I will talk to the kids. I mean, they're going to be disappointed as well. Anyway, what does this mean for us? Uh, we are, of course, not going to meet our goal of 9,000 ounces. That ain't happening. Yeah. You know. Y'all ready? Yeah, go kill it, Kevin. Okay. Let's see what you got, man. 10, 20, 40, 50, 70, 80. 90, 100, 120, 130, 160, 180, 190, 200, 210, 220, 225, 227.34 troy ounces. It's not too shabby. It's not too bad. Worth over $400,000 and 100 ounces more than last week. Like Dad says, better than nothing. Oh, nothing. More, but he'll pay some bills. I mean, nah, does it make a dent in the we bought? Not really. Yeah, I don't, it makes a little dent. Anyway, 9,000 ounces, that's now a long ways away, of course. But I mean, if we can get a couple of hundred a week here, and we're far from being down and out, so we'll just give a the mail. Yep. We'll come with some plans, we'll drive around, pick a couple spots. There's lots of places we wanted to go oh, yeah. and stuff like that, so let's. Make it happening. Poke around the hill, make it happening. Get the out, so to speak. Okay, we'll see you guys in the yeah. later.